Hello, let's see if I can do this in one take. I am going to cover something very basic today, and that is drawing. I want you to know how important it is to be able to draw realistically as a foundation skill for the other forms of visual arts. Drawing is something that you can obtain just with a pencil and some copy paper. The primary focus is value. You want to be able to convey value. Value is what is going to take a square and make it into a cube. It's going to take a circle and make it a sphere and so on and so forth. If you look at this straight on, it's a square, right? Turn it and now you know it's a cube. But how do you know it's a cube? It's because this side is darker, this is a medium value, and this is lighter. You've got three different values here. But how do you do that if you've never done it before? So what I've got here is just a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. Uh, it's just standard drawing paper. It's not real heavy. Uh, I've got a kneaded eraser drawing pencil, and this is an example of a value scale. Great exercise is to create your own value scale by just starting to shade and do it dark, dark to light. But, so how do you make value? You can just take a very sharpened pencil And you can cross hatch. You can just use the side of the pencil. You can use the tip of the pencil. I'm doing a lot of cross hatching here, which is where you take lines. And the closer they are, and the more lines there are, the darker, darker it gets. See, this is darker than these outside parts. And you can just keep, keep cross-hatching until you get the value that you want. But if you've got this cube and you want to draw this cube, we all know how to draw a square. Top and bottom line will be parallel. This and this line are parallel. And this and this line are parallel. Okay, so you've got you've drawn your cube. But in order to get it to have more of a three-dimensional look than a two-dimensional look, I'm just going to shade this side much, much darker. Go in and give this a medium value. And if you want, you can just leave that right or leave that white. And you can see how that gives it more of a three dimensional form than if you just had, if you just had these lines creating a shape. The shadow gives it form. The more of these values you can incorporate, the rounder your surface is going to be. Just like on the cube, it shows a definite line where the shadow changes. That tells our mind that that's a sharp edge. It's not round. If it's round, it's gonna be, it's gonna have more values. So if we take a circle, Let's say the light's coming this way. And that means your highlight is going to probably be here. And the dark side is going to be on this side. All right? And see how that jumps? That doesn't make it look like it's smooth there. You want to make that transition really subtle. And 
And there's a number of ways you can do this. You can create this change in value just like I am here with going back and forth. This is a 6B pencil, I believe. sun is shining this way, there's going to be a shadow on here, this way. But if this surface is white, let's say it goes right here. See how I can rub some of that off with this knitted eraser. But you can also take a blending stump and smooth that out. What are all these parts that you're making? There's different names to each one of these types of shadows. insert my image to show you how we can communicate verbally on which shadow is which. This white is going to reflect up a little bit. So this is not going to necessarily be all dark. There's going to be a, a white or a light here reflecting. The highlight, the lightest part, is going to be over here because the light's shining that way. values you put on there, the smoother it's going to look. Remember when we had the like, sharp edge on there and it didn't look smooth and now that we've added more and more shadows, more and more values. Also, the shadow is going to appear darker, closer to the object than it does further away. So you can transfer this information to any object to give it a three-dimensional appearance. You need to show if it's got sharp edges or if it has rounder, smoother edges. You need to pay attention to those. This is just the beginning. If you can, if you can create something like this, you should be able to draw just about anything, as long as you break it down into those basic shapes. Basic shapes being circle, square, triangle. circle becomes the sp sphere. The square becomes the cube. And the cone 
or the triangle becomes the cone. And if you pay attention to where the light hits, you can create the values necessary to make it look like a three-dimensional subject. And there's also the cylinder. Remember, if you do ellipticals, ellipses, they're round on the ends. They are, are not pointed. If you're interested in learning more about drawing, I do have a course on Thinkific, and I will put the link below. And it goes into much more detail on all this. If you are interested, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.